what a better way to start sharing with you our personal typewriter collection than starting with the smallest typewriter ever made with a full keyboard, the Bennett typewriter. My name is Walid and I'm the co-founder of Mr. and Mrs. Vintage Typewriters and in this section on our YouTube channel we will be sharing with you our personal typewriter collection that we will discuss every single detail about the typewriters we own, their history, typefaces, special colors and what's unique about each one of them. The first Bennett typewriter was produced in 1910 and it was after the failure of the junior typewriter that was produced in 1907. The junior typewriter unfortunately lacked the paper table on the back, it used ink rollers instead of ribbons and it had a lot of alignment issues. Smartly Charles Bennett decided to enhance the design by adding a paper table on the back. He introduced the ribbon mechanism instead of ink rollers plus he tackled the issue of misalignment of the type wheels and this will be something I will discuss later on in the video. As per their advertisement manual Bennett typewriters were sold for $18 which is around $500 in today's money and they were advertised as portable and efficient. Talking about portability their size was 11 inch by 5 inch by 2 inch and it weighs four and a half pounds only. So a lot of people mentioned that they, it, it was like a portable pocket typewriter so you can just flip the paper table and fit back the cover and that's it that's the typewriter and it fits anywhere inside your carrying case. The Bennett typewriters were produced in two colors a black finish and the nickel finish. One thing I love about Bennett typewriters they were only made of 250 parts compared to other typewriters that use thousands of parts to be manufactured. Another interesting fact about the Bennett typewriters they didn't use the conventional key arms to print on the paper. They used a type wheel made of vulcanized rubber. This type wheel will revolve when striking the key and will print on the paper. Now let's talk about the keyboard mechanism. It's made of 28 letters or 84 characters. And the ribbon mechanism is underneath as you can see and historically it was known to have a lot of issues while typing due to the small size of the keyboard it's just the size of my hand you will accidentally be pressing or depressing the wrong key occasionally this causing a lot of errors while typing now i'll show you the mechanism i'll refit the type wheel and you can see the mechanism is simple underneath the keyboard. When pressed, the type wheel will hit the platen and print the letter you, int you intend to type. So, I'll be honest with you, the Bennett typewriter is known to be an easy typewriter to dismantle and clean regularly. One nice thing about it is that the ease of removing the carriage this was good to remove the, uh, the, mechan the carriage easily and clean underneath and then you can just return it without any problems. The Bennett typewriter company insisted that it's not an $18 toy. They actually made it in this design to be small, to fit everywhere and to compare it for you with another item I decided to share with you the size of a Bennett compared to an iPad 8. In this section I'll compare the size and dimensions of the Bennett to other portable and desk full desk typewriters. I'm using the Royal P in this case 
and you can see the thickness it's less than half of the portable Royal P if we compare it to the f desk typewriter it's as small as the keyboard of the desk typewriter itself finally I want to share with you my personal opinion about the Bennett typewriters what I don't like about the Bennett typewriter is the size of the keyboard actually it's small compared to my two big hands and when typing I'll accidentally mistype a lot of letters the second thing I don't like about Bennett typewriters is the wobbly carriage although Charles Bennett intended to enhance the alignment issue unfortunately it wasn't eliminated and this issue continued throughout the manufacturing and usage of the typewriter itself later reasons why I like the Bennett typewriter is the nickel finish the nickel finish was my favorite I like the black one but the nickel is extremely special the second thing I like about the Bennett typewriter is the portability and the size it's extremely small compared to all the typewriters we have you can fit it anywhere the third reason I bought this special Bennett typewriter is the hooks it had and it's an addition to the Bennett typewriter itself to add the stability on the table and I didn't see a lot of these on other Bennett typewriters the Bennett typewriters used in this video are made in 1911 and 1912 the color is black and nickel finish the typeface is elite the keyboard is English QWERTY our scores for the Bennett typewriter are reliability 2 out of 10 design 7 out of 10 rarity 6 out of 10 the Bennett typewriter is a must in any typewriter collection that's why we got the nickel finish and the black finish of the Bennett itself thank you for watching the video and hope you enjoyed the content please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to get notified of any future videos we're going to be sharing with you until then, keep typing.